What's good, Juicy? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Press that subscribe button and also turn on post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I had to move around because Buddy tried to mess up my intro. But yeah, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be using real player percentage. Now, look, I'm going to my settings. Now, look. I ain't never used real player percentage a day in my life on this game. Now, I wanted to test it out because, you know, people be talking about, oh, it's lit, it's all like that. And I thought the best way to test it out would be going to the 1v1 court. Now, me personally, I do not like real player percentage because it bails people out. Like, every year 2K come out with something new that just bail people out. Like, if you're not that good at 2K, bro, just try to get better at it. Call of Duty don't have no things where they bail people out for shooting. Like... Fortnite don't either, but it's like 2K, they cater to the average person. I understand if you don't got time to play 2K and you not like that and you want to get better, yeah, but don't just bring stuff in the game just to bail people out. Like, real player percentage, like, you don't even have to time your jump shot for this. All you have to do is literally just tap the button if you wide open. And if you got a 99 three-pointer, it's a 99% chance that shot is going in. Like, look at me. My shot is winning. I just tap the button. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And I'm using jump shot set 26 because it's one of the fastest bases in the game. So if you have a fast jump shot plus a decent rating three-pointer and you're wide open, it's a good chance you're going to hit the three. Like, that's the craziest part about it. Like, that takes no skill. And that plus sniper, oh, my goodness. You might go 10 for 10. I'm not even going to lie. There's some people out there, that's all they use. Like, they don't even be good. Like, I'm just throwing stuff up. Like, my three-point rate is maybe like an 84, 85 on this build. I don't even have boost on this build. But the fact that you can just press a button and the jump shot, autom it's a good chance the jump shot will automatically go in is crazy. Like, they always doing something to, like, trying to cater to people. Like I said, like, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with this. They need to take this out of the game because this is not good at all. But as you can see right now, for my first time using it, I mean, it, as I'm using it, I'm like, it's okay. See, I'm shooting. 100% right now, you know, I ain't missed a three yet, but I did miss a couple of open threes because of my rating, but if my rating was higher, I know it's a real good chance I wouldn't miss, like, this is no skill, I look at it, I press the button, I just tapped it, and it just went in, like, that's crazy, bro, like, this is no skill, like, you should at least take a skill if you play a game, just some skill, this seems like every year, 2K is just trying to take more and more skill out of the game, like, Back in the day, it mattered if you played. You could tell who played the game a lot and who didn't play the game. You could see the skill level and the difference between each other. Even if you had a 99 build, you still had to show your skills in the park. But now, it's like it's just no skill. So it's like if the game not competitive and you really show no skill and the dribble, everybody dribbles the same, I mean, what's the use? Like, what's the use of trying to trying to time a jump shot if you can just turn on real play percentage with a high three-point rate and build? And you know it's a good chance it's going in. Like, what's the use? There's no use. Like, they just ruined it. But they need to take this out of the game. I hope they take it out next year. If they keep this in the game, man, I don't know what to say. But I hope it's just like a one-time thing like quick draw. I ain't like quick draw either 20. A lot of people like 20. A lot of people praise 20. I ain't really... I really personally, I ain't really enjoyed 20. I'm not even going to lie to you. The defense was I. Right. People talking about the defense was amazing and all that. Since I'm talking about 2K20. I mean, it was I. Right. You know, it was I. Right. But it's really the nostalgia that's really behind people. Because when I remember when 2K20 first came out, it went trending number three on Twitter. Because Tassino got it trending. Because the game was broken. Nobody liked 2K20 when it first came out. And I mean nobody. The only reason 2K20 is really popularized because of Tyson and his waiters. He made the game lit with his waiters. I'm not even going to lie. But that's all people really remember. And the pandemic. But that game really wasn't that good. It went number three trending for Twitter for being that bad. Like, that's crazy to even say. If y'all don't remember it, just search it up. Tyson AJ made videos about it. I know for a fact he did. And then also, you would get your bar stuck at um, All-Star 2. Once you hit All-Star 2 on 2K20 in the first two weeks, you got no rep after that. Like, if you was playing Park, after you hit All-Star 2 and you didn't get no rep that previous game, they was not giving you no rep. And you had to make a whole new build just to get rep. 2K20 was crazy, man. I'm not even going to lie. But, yeah. I mean, it's just some things, like, they add into the game and they take out. Like, they took out Quick Draw. Okay, that's a good thing. They added in Sniper to 2K22. Um, not that good. 
he's not that good to take that bad shot. But enough of me rambling. I'm gonna get back to the game, but you can see right now, I've been cooking this man real play percentage on. He just decided he just gonna quit. I mean, like, look at anybody you quit if he just throwing up whites, non-contested shots in your face, bro. Like, he just throwing up wide open shots. It's a guaranteed chance it's gonna go in. I'll be mad too and quit. But right now, I'm beating him 19 to 9. I end up getting another block because of my defensive player. Like, come on. Now, he can't, the CPU can't even shoot. At this point, man, I don't know what the state is of this game, but hey, I'm gonna still be out here grinding and posting, so just subscribe. But as you can see, I end that first game 21 to 9 using real play percentage. I mean, I just had to test it out to see what all the hype was about. I've seen it in action, but I've never used it because I don't really like to abuse things in 2K. I try to play as fair as possible, and I try to play my own style. I don't try to copy nobody else's style. That's why you see my Kobe Bryant build. People don't really got no build like this on 2K22. Like, my build is really rare. Some people, they just got the same title as everybody. That's the thing. Like, they need to add more titles into the game again. Like, the titles, like, 2K20, they had some good build titles. They had some crazy build titles, too. But in next gen, all they got is a two-way three-point playmaker. Like, that's mostly what you're going to see. Three-point playmaker, all that. Like, come up with something else. Like, I try to make new builds with different player titles, but they don't be as good. Like, I don't understand that either. Like, if I'm going to make a build, I want to make my build unique. And I want it, to be able to, want it to be able to do everything. But, yeah, man. Enough of me ranting in. Sometimes I just rant, man. I just got to say what I got to say. Like, I'm not finna sugarcoat nothing about 2K. But as you can see right now, the score is two. So I hit that ball with a jab step, and I go right past him. Now, you can see right now, the score is tied up. Now, you see he's trying to get open. I'm not going for none of that. He stepped back. He ends up shooting a contested shot, and he ends up missing. At least, I'm so glad he ended up missing because, man, the other night, I saw one of my friends who was playing rec, bro. He hit a slightly early 40% contest. How is that possible? Slightly early, 40% from the three-point line in the corner. And his three-pointer not even higher than mine. It might be like an 82. It might be lower than mine on this build. And that's a crazy thing. But, yeah, as you can see, I get open. You know, that shot going in is wide open. I mean, that's the whole use of the badge. Like, it's crazy. I mean, the real player percentage. Plus a sniper, so it's going to go in. Like, it's crazy, man. But you see dude hit me with the Euro. Now, I haven't seen people do Euros in a long time on 2K. I used to do Euros back in the day, but I don't do Euros no more because you don't even get layups off no more in 2K. Every time you go to the rim, they give you a stupid dunk animation. And, like, when you do do Euros, when you Euro into somebody in the game, you're going to lose the ball. Like, the last time Euros was effective was probably, like, 2K19, like, 2K20. Like, that was really it. But... As you can see right now, the score is four to nine. He's not really doing nothing. He in the box. I told you, man, I'm out here for defense, bro. <laughs> That's what I do. I love playing defense. But I wish 2K would bring defense back into the game. The the game not gonna really be balanced, so they try to bring defense back into the game. Now, every year they have the good defense and then they mess it up. Like this year, the defense was perfect. The defense was real good. Then they nerfed it a little bit, and the defense was still good. Now the defense is bad. The paint defense is bad perimeter defense is bad because it's like bro it's like it's only so much you can do to guard somebody um i was pressing somebody last night in the wreck like a guard and they called a blocking file on them. like come on now you get called a blocking file for pressing somebody pressing somebody that's a part of basketball and defense like come on i always say everybody can play offense but everybody can't play defense like that the defense is what separates teams the defense come on you can have a great offense but you gotta have good defense too because like that defense is a big part of the game because if you can score on them how you gonna stop them if you can't stop them what's the use of you scoring really i mean it can be a back and forth game but you gotta get a stop every once in a while but as you can see my game tried to freeze right there right now i'm cooking but it's 9 18 I know he talking crazy in game chat, but I don't even care at this point, man. He was probably talking crazy. Like, you a bum. Are you using real play percentage? You know, he probably wasn't even saying all that. Because a lot of these people, when they be talking in game chat, they don't even know what they be talking about. At the random, they don't even know what they be talking about. They be playing old head basketball, telling you to cut back door, do all types of other crazy stuff. And it's just like, wow, man. But as you can see right now. I got my takeover on. He were not really going nowhere. Like, he ends up shooting a stupid. And they gave him an early release or a very early. It's one or the other because he timed it too quick. But you say hit that ball with a snapback. I ended up pulling up. But 
my real player percentage didn't work at that time, even though I was wide open. Now, some of those shots, I was wide open, and they just made me miss. Like, that's the thing I don't like about it. That's when I like to time my own jump shots, because when 2K times it for you, they'll cause you to end the game. Like, why would I do that? Like, I shoot it that far, and I end up missing. But, as y'all can see, to put him in the box game is back in effect. Now, look, I told y'all I play defense out here. Now, this boy got Clint for a full 24. Look at this. Give me that. Uh-uh. I'm not going for none of that, bro. Now, look, it's 10 seconds left on the clock. He got to try to make a move. He has to try to do something. He tries to go right past me, go behind the back again. Uh-uh. Come here. No, you think I'm going to jump on that? Uh-uh. And I said, give me that again. Another block, and that's a shot clock violation. 24 seconds of that boy in a box. I'm a gift wrap and send it to his mother. What is you talking about? It's the Christmas time because there's a lot of boxes out here. But, hey, man, as you can see, I end the gameplay right there, 22-11. Man, and that's how my experience was really using real play percentage on NBA 2K22. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'm out.